Hello, welcome to Show Studio. I'm Rebecca Arnold. I'm a lecturer in dress history at the Courtauld Institute of Art in London. And this is Melody, who is wearing an amazing, amazing example from the Moncler collaboration with Pier Paolo Piccioli from Valentino. And I chose this collection and this look because it's such an amazing connection and between utilitarian dress, sportswear, and the most extravagant form of kind of ball gown. And when you look at the silhouette, you can see how the, the padding, the quilting, which has been used in um, sportswear, has been adapted so that it becomes this incredible swishy ball gown effect. So if you could just move so we can see how it... How it's so incredible because in terms of the sort of sensory experience of it, it's certainly for an outsider, even if not for Melody, is of it being very much like a couture garment. garment. It sounds almost as though it's silk. It looks as though it's a really, really um, kind of refined form of ball gown with taffeta or something that makes that lovely swishy noise. The volume is given by this padding, but also if we look underneath, you can see there are these strips of fabric, it's almost like a tent, um, which hold together sections of the skirt so that it produces these amazing pleats that move with her body as she walks. And these are really incredible for giving volume, shape and form to the skirt. And they really reference kind of 1860s Victorian dresses which were held out with crinolines and with layers of petticoats. But because you have the quilting and those strips that I just showed you, you don't need all those layers in between. It also references the 18th century when you would sometimes get um, quilted petticoats, which is what skirts were called then, um, which were made for warmth, but also again to give this volume and this amazing kind of look to um, the skirt. If we look at the jacket, rather than referencing the Victorian era, it's very much like your kind of everyday puffer jacket that you see on the street, but it's the most kind of beautiful, super elite version of that. It's got a little um, waistcoat that buttons underneath to keep it in place, but also for extra warmth. And then the, the zip goes in two directions, so you could alter the top silhouette, but when it's together, it really looks like a cocoon because Melody's shoulder is actually here, but it's completely smoothed out and her silhouette is changed completely by the form of the jacket. And when I saw it, first of all, when I saw the um, runway show, I was really amazed because it somehow looked like a caterpillar and a butterfly simultaneously, which I think is rather a beautiful thing. It's as though it's becoming something as well as being something. And if we look at the back, just for a second, you can see it kind of anonymizes her figure completely. We don't know who she is, and it changes her um, silhouette. And then these very tight, okay, very tight sleeves. So it's very transformative in the way that it connects with the body, and in the way that the kind of wearer's experience is quite different from the viewer's experience. If we look at the jacket, it also refers to fashion history in that it looks to Norma Kamali's. Um, puffer coats of the 1980s, which were really important in New York for developing this style, again for warmth, but also to create really quite different silhouettes. And also even to Margiela's um, duvet coats of the 1990s, which are again thinking about how you connect warmth to the body through quilting. The sleeves have these beautiful um, patterns on them, these striped patterns, which were um, done in collaboration with Leah Kadebe of Lem Lem and reference African um, patterning. And so I think what's really important as well as it being a, an outfit, an ensemble that refers to different aspects of fashion history is that it's global, that it refuses, it disrupts the idea that it's simply European sportswear, European couture. And it forces us, it makes us understand the diversity of fashion. And Pier Paolo kind of developed that idea in interviews talking about this collection because he said he was inspired by a 1950s um, Cecil Beaton photograph that's very famous of couture gowns, very much like your traditional kind of 19th century inspired ball gowns. 
And this image is very beautiful, but it's very much an, an emblem of the times. It's very much a white elite vision of what fashion is. And what Pier Paolo said about this was that he wanted to reimagine this, but with black girls wearing the um, ball gowns. And I think that's really a beautiful idea and a beautiful representation of the way that fashion, I think at its best, embodies contradiction. It can sh embody both sportswear and couture, it can be global, and it can disrupt and resist simple definitions. <laughs>